So we're going to continue. So for example, you've already placed the directions here. Before you will proceed with the first first uh, question, we'll go to settings first. So I made a new recording because my audio wasn't working uh, just a while ago. And then, for example, if you want to make this a quiz, like you'll put uh, points, no? Or magbutang ka ka ng feedback or answer keys you can click this one as make this a quiz if not it's just merely for data gathering without any points or will i answer key you can just uh, refrain from clicking this one para ma activate and make this a quiz but uh, what happens if we're going to make a quiz from uh, google forms so once we click this for releasing of grades usually i check the I check the answers of the students first before I submit their uh, scores or grade because if I do this immediately after submission then then see the Google form na na siya AI iyaha kung sa ibutang ni mo nga answer key mo na puti ang sundun so for example if the answer key is written in um, lowercase tanan Dayon, nag answer si student same answer man pero naka only difference is naka uppercase or naka capital letters then din si ano i wrong red japon ni ai sa um, google form no? so matingal ang student kang ano wrong siya pero sakto ra may answer ang pagsulat red jod or pag type red jod kay naka uppercase siya okay so usually we're going to just click later after manual uh, review so that wala tayo ma-miss out ng mga points or answers sa mga bata. And we're also going to um, make sure na dilipod masahip sa AI o chat. Then, ang um, respondent settings is on sa ilahang makita. What will they see once uh, they will submit the uh, Google Form answers and once uh, ma return sa ila haon sa makita. So, we will remove the missed questions, uh, correct answers, and only remain, uh, only um, leave the point value so that they will know how many points they will be getting from each question. Okay? Then, on the responses, um, respondents will be required to sign in sa Google, if, most especially if you're using your CSR email and then if you want to send them a copy of their response pwede man when requested kung mo request si respondent or si student nga mga yung sila copy silang response or kada submit niya automatically masend sa email ang ilang copy of responses for me I do not want to give them so I'll just turn it off um, there are times you can allow them to edit their responses where on my part I don't let them edit their response so kung mo na siya mo na na siya once ma submit na ang answers kay tendency if you allow them to to edit after responding um, once they will know the answer from their classmate oh, they will immediately ko ah, and they will immediately go back to their answers and then change it so they can limit to one response Okay, so limit limit the response in one response. So, di sila pwede ka submit a response of multiple. Kay, if that will happen, no, kanang, if, the, if, that, if, that, if that will happen, sorry, if that will happen, tendency ana is magduplicate, tagbaw na po kagbalik-balik, o po ano, ala na, duplicate di ay ang submission ni De La Cruz, mani mo na. No? So, para, at least, ikaw sa lang, di, limit to one response. And then restrict only to students in CSR. Okay? Meaning di sila ka share na sa those no libertarian email or delete part sa institution. Presentation, you can show the progress bar meaning they will know how many questions are left or pila ka slides ang left. And then ayaw na lang ning shuffle question order, ing ana lang. Review result summary. We did delete na lang na siya. Disable auto save. So, 
um, ayaw lang niya siya eh. Or, syempre, luwi kay, for example, mo, dahil sila internet connection. If you disable the autosave, they will lose all of their progress once maklose ang browser or ma walang sila connection. So, we will just remove that so that they will have autosave in case na um, they will lose their internet connection or they can still save their their progress, they can still come back to the Google form and continue answering. Form defaults, collect e emails by default. Question defaults, um, make questions required. So if we click this one, naka purple siya, that means um, they cannot proceed to the next question without answering the other one. Okay. We're going to proceed with the questions. So for questions, sorry, we done. Okay, okay, sorry. So, medyo na lang yung mga background noise na. So, ang, ang dire, now we're going to start now, since we already did the settings, we're going to start now with the question. So, uh, this is the header or the title section. So, here in the side, let us try to explore the tools. This is to add a question. This is to import questions. So, for example, if you have already, like, uh, ng mga nahimo na already made ng mga questions, you can just import it here in the Google form. You have the title and uh, subheadings, or sorry, title and subscription uh, and description, rather. So this one, another na pun ng ani. If ever you have like test one, test two, test three, and then if you would like to add an image, like for example, in one of my exams, I included an image them for for the students to see an image them, an image in the. Google form for my students to see and then they're going to identify the picture, write their answers based sila nakita sa picture. If you want, you can also add a YouTube video or any video yung i-attach if ever you'll be asking a question related to a video. And then add section. So add section is like this. No? Uh, test 1, test 2, test 3 or uh, test proper, uh, things like that. Okay, kung i-delete mo lang na siya, oh, delete section. And then sa babaw, now you have undo, redo. This one is preview. Once you're done with the entire form, you're, you can just conduct like, or click, not conduct, but click a uh, preview so that you can see what it looks like once it's done. And then you also have the customized theme. If you'd like na imong form kay mas nindot pa jod, you can change the font, uh, the, the font style. And then, um, ang size, ang, ang header, mabutang ka header, for example. Oh, you try to explore, syempre, no? Kaya as teachers, we try to explore as much as possible. For example, we'll just do that as our header. Then you could also change the color if you want. No, connect automatic mo change man siya according to what is our our uh, header no pwede po ka upload from your own computer if you do not like the ready made headers in google form you can change the background i like it pink or white and then red or pink or green no automatic lang po siya mo blend ang color uh, according to the background o ang yung header nga gipili okay for example, you have to change it to Times New Roman, so may ana. Okay, you can you can choose actually so that on your end, this one, kabalo na mo ano sa na. This one, these are add-ons. 
usually in add-ons we have a form limiter okay. ang form limiter and so many mag set taog time limit okay so in the time limit usually I have um, form limiter it's my add-on so that um Rapot siya mutabang o proctor sa exam. For example, I will just limit it to date and time or number of form responses. So, kutubra 50 responses or 100 responses. If maabot na na siya ang kota na immediately maklose ang form. Or, pwede po date and time. Sa date and time, you can choose when will be the deadline. For example, uh, deadline will be next month. Pero, uh, September 8th. Then, ang time. Pwede man 12 midnight. 12 uh, a.m. Or 12 noon. Sa odd to. So, yung anak. No? Then, you will just set that. Sorry, sorry. Wala na po. Um. Okay, click set. Then, save and enable. Automatically, it will close. Okay. Once we have the time, pa, September 8, 12, midnight. Excellent, Tani. You email din na sa you have a form. Ang form automatically na close na siya, So, the students will have to contact the teacher who is the owner of the form para increase. Increase or open nila ang form balik para maka answer da yun ka. Or wala nyo siya ka, din nakakaabot sa deadline. Muna siya na siya. Okay, let us now proceed to adding the questions. So, in here, let's add the questions. Sa side, na yung mga tools, no? So, you'll just click add question. Then, you're going to write your question. So, let mo dira. Ang sa inyo mga case, no? Kaya, since you're doing a survey, you're going to only copy what is in the slides that I will be giving to you. Then, you choose here on the right side. You can choose if it's going to be like an essay type of question. So, ang answers niya dapat short or long. Kung long ganit paragraph. Pwede track box. Multiple choice, you're only going to choose one. Track box, they can choose multiple. Or drop down. Pwede po linear scale. Multiple track box grid. Or they can upload the file. For example, if you want them to, to upload a file of their photo, Oh, so, pwede file upload. Okay, pero syempre, that will be a risk on your ko ano po, no? Sa imuhang uh, storage. No? Kaya syempre, di naman as imuhang drive mo sulod. You have date and time as well. They can answer that, that if you're going to ask questions related to date and time. So, in here, I'm going to ask first the name of the respondent. So, probably short answer text ang... Uh, suitable. Again, if you don't like the font style, you can just change it here in the customized theme. Okay. Even the font size. Okay. Mom, I'm going to add another question. Where would I go? You can duplicate if you want. Or you can add another. So, for example, okay, so, muna ni siya, um, wait, add kag another, and then gusto ka multiple choice, add kag question, options niya. For example, para sa manang options na namin ka, pwede naman po kag encode, but pwede ka mag-duplicate. So, mag-duplicate na po siya. So, how will you add options? So, right here. Up. <coughs> Example rin na ha. Lali man ta. And then, answer key, pwede ka kabutang. If it's a quiz, no? 
sa answer key, you'll just click the correct answer. For example, ang second one. And then, how many points? Kung one point or siya, then done. Okay? So, nanadirita na. Na i check box mo indicate a uh, check meaning sorry check indication ni mo ning correct answer. Ikaw rin makakita ani as the owner of the form pero dili ang imuhang students no or respondents. Um, once you're done, ginahan ko na ay mura sulti sulti or unsa. Pwede ka drop on sa settings ibutang ano. Okay? First ani a uh, confirmation message. Oh, your response has been recorded or thank you for for your participation. Pwede po tanda lang. Oh, things like that. Then you save. <clears throat> Let us just assume that you are done already with uh, writing questions, putting options here. Yeah, test 2 na po ka. Didi na po ka sa add section. Oh, test 2 na po ka. I do have another set of another set na po of uh, questions si butang diri. For example, numeration, identification, and diri ka sa description ng butang og um they call this directions. Okay? Add question. Pwede din sa obos. Nya, yeah, kuha na po ni ako ang um, essay or identification. Short answer text. I gusto ko multiple uh, check boxes kay multiple uh, answers sa kung gusto so pwede ka na siya. Pwede po. Usara ka cho choice yung pi ang pili on sa kuon sa respondent then pwede multiple choice. Kung ma'am, I'm done with all of the questions. I'm double check na ko mo ni mo na what should I do? Or you can click preview. In preview, you can see what your form looks like. So, this is what it looks like. This is the title of the form, the directions, and then the email nga asa naka sign in. And then, oh, oh, records I will add as the email to be included with my response. Name of respondent. Then, here are the questions. Wala na po na type. And then, options. And then, pili na po. Hmm. Eh, siyempre, di mo ko ka-proceed, no? For example, proceed ko. O, oh, record the job po. Okay, next. O, oh, test 2. What is you will be able to see what your form looks like. So, yun na. So, again, let us go back to the form. For example, this is already the title. You can just click here. You edit the title. You go to the description. You put directions. You go to settings already. And then you put here all of the settings that you would like to do sa imuhang form. You read it carefully. And then, for example, you're going to add a question. You go here first sa title. Click this one, add question. Then you write the question here, names or respondent baron, or for example, mag write ka og question about other preferences, you write it here. Okay? Then you change the options here sa side. Depending sa on sa imuhang klase nga question, either essay, either um, identification, or enumerate, sorry, enumeration rather, pwede. And then, kung multiple choice, kung usa lang ka choice, multiple choice, kung daghag choices, like duha ka answer, in lang pilian, pwede check boxes, drop down, file upload, linear scale, multiple choice grid, check box grid, date and time. Okay, so di rin na siya mag-change. Edit your answer key, add the correct answer here, and also change the points. And here, oh, pwede ka mo add oh, a new title and description, similar to this one. Or just a new section which is similar to this one you can add photos you can add videos or you can import questions from ready-made questions na nimo. now please keep in mind that if you want to add for example I forgot to add a question here in section 1 
And then, kapoy naman kung diri ko mo ay, di ko kabalon sa on. So, you can just go to the last question in, in, in section 1. Before section 2, then you click add question. Automatically ma-add siya sa ubos. Or, for example, naka, naka, nasayop ka, you add your question here sa section 2. For example, you add your question here sa section 2. You can just drag. Drag it up. Here. Depende kung asa naman siya ibutang. Basta naka-number lang yung mong questions para dili ka mong libo. Okay? Now, if you can remember, we already did um, a preview of our Finnish um, Google Form. So, that response has been recorded. You can see it here in the responses ka na usa na kabutang. Automatically, you will see kakainsa na siya gika, na yung email, na yung score, and then ang responses niya. Uh, preferable if you're going to check the answers individually, you could check the individual para tagsatag sa ka mong check. Kung imuha siyang i-summarize, so i-summarize sa niya na ay mga tables, na ay mga graphs na kabutang. Okay? And then, if you want to edit the score, you can just go here. Sa individual. Butang ni mo yung score diri. Uh, score niya is 1. Okay. Score niya is 1. Kung mistake na siya, hindi mo na po lang i-check. Not release, okay. And then you click the release score. For example, when you're checking, or manual, you exactly know the answer. Then you just click release score, and it release it the score. Okay. Hata ko example. Sa so, katunayan ng mga responses. Hmm. Okay. Let me see here. Ah, okay. Let us just look at some of the pang submit sa ako ang student and may other uh, sections no? so this is an example of the form that I made for the midterm exam of my students there are 33 responses if you look at the summary you can see here the score sa mga estudyante and kanus asya na release syempre dili man siya automatic judayan ma release ang scores because I have to check each of the responses manually So, na dire, uh, section E, and then pila kabok ng answer of first industrial revolution. There are nine. One, no salin la in silag answer no, naka graph na siya, naka summarize naman siya. Um, and then pila kabok ni answer globalization, 27 out of 33. And then one, globalization nga S, kanikit lahi po niyang answer. Wala ikaw ka multiple choice no, ka identification enumeration na ko nila. So, nakasummarize na siya. Sa survey, lahi po, no? And then, individually, ginacheck po na ko siya tag-sa-tag sa parsani kay Escarpe. So, naadiri ang scores, sa rang i-check. If wrong siya, wala ko yung score ibutang. If check siya, butangan ako score, then click save sa ubos. Okay. That would add to his score. If wrong siya, wala yung score na kabutang ni Rin. Ang person ay, kung correct siya, butang kag-score. Mga things like that. Okay? Kung sa surveying, ano ang itsura? I don't know if it will be able to load properly. Yet I'll find a survey. 
Wait. Acceptance of community base. Ah, okay, na yan. Copy of survey of kanila. I will choose this one so that you will see what it looks like if it's going to be like a survey. Okay, so I have 123 responses. I was not able to choose mine kay naraghan kito no 500 responses to siya back when I had my survey katong nagmasters pa ko. So na diri na graph na siya. So kani um out of 123 respondents so na ay 86 students nga nag-answer equivalent to 69.9%. Dayon na ay 28 parents or guardian equivalent to 22.8%. Dayon na ay 9 kabuk teacher equivalent to 7.3%. And then <clears throat> silang responses? Yes. Uh, nag-answer 93 and then there are 75.6% to siya convert if it's converted to percent. And then here it's 30 ang nag-answer of no. Uh, convert to percent it's 24.4%. Okay? So na diri ang key keywords or I mean sorry. I mean the legend rather. Na yung mga responses nila. Do any answer of Wi-Fi 1.6%, data connection to data 6, broadband 17, wireless or Wi-Fi 61. Then convert na siya to percentage. Usually this is very helpful for those in, for example, in research, your statistical treatment is simple percentage and fre uh, frequency and percentage distribution. So, maging anira ka ha, tagra ka nila og mga options. And then, automatically, sila nalay mo. Himo o graph or um, table. Doon na uban na rin, nakatable ng uban. So, sa'yo na lang kayo, especially mag-survey ka. So, slow, 38. Kabuk nag-answer of slow, 30.9%. 31 nag-answer of strong, 25.2%. 54 nag-answer of limited, 43.9%. Okay, so, kung ano ka, more lang i-move ang cursor or ang arrow near the pie graph or the bar graph to see the frequency of responses and also its uh, percentage. So, that's it. So, yung anak na siya pag himo o Google form either for survey or for uh, making questions for exam or quizzes. Now, how do you send it to your respondents? You click send. Then, you go here. Kanyang na icon sa link. Shorten link para mas dali. Copy and then paste in your group chat. Then, if you want to add your classmates as a collaborator, you go here sa or another na nga settings. You add collaborators. Then, you include your uh, classmate no, using the email. Mom, I do not know how to use the form limiter. I have to download that add-ons in Google uh, Store. So, what if dili lang ko mag, mag form limiter? Or you can manually close the responses. Either you click still accepting responses or you click not accepting responses. You can also download the responses offline by clicking view in sheets. Then automatically, you will have a spreadsheet of all the responses from the survey or the quiz. Okay? And that's it. No, That's how you will, you will be making uh, or how you will be making your uh, Google form for surveys or for quizzes and nag